This is part 91 of SQL Server tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the cross apply and outer apply operators in SQL Server with examples. For the purpose of this demo, we'll be using these two tables, department and employee. Here is the SQL script to create those tables and populate them with test data. I'll have the script available on my blog in case you need it. Department ID column in this employee table is a foreign key referencing the ID column from department table. Now what we want to do is write a query that's going to retrieve all the matching rows between these two tables. Within our result set, we want department name from department table and employee name gender and salary from employee table. So the result set should look like this. Notice we want only the matching rows between these two tables. Now we can very easily achieve this using an inner join. So let's quickly write that inner join query. So we want to select star from department table. Let's give it an alias D and we want to inner join the department table with employee table. Let's give an alias for this employee table E and we need to specify the join condition D dot ID equals E dot department ID. And what are the columns that we want in our result set? We want department name from the department table, employee name, employee gender, and employee salary. So if we execute this query, we should get all the matching rows between department and employee table. Notice within the result set, we don't have any rows for administration and sales departments. That's basically because within the employee table, we don't have any employees belonging to that departments, right? So that's the reason why we don't have those rows in the result set. Now let's say we want to write another query, which is going to retrieve all the matching rows plus non-matching rows from the department table. We can very easily achieve that using a left join instead of an inner join. So when we perform a left join between department and employee table, we are going to get all the rows from the department table irrespective of whether they have a matching record in the employee table or not. Notice we have administration and sales departments here. Since they don't have any employees in the employee table, the name, gender, and salary column from the employee table have nulls. All right, now let's say for some reason we don't have access to this physical table employee. Instead, they have given us a function and that's a table valued function. So if you give the department ID to that function, it's going to give you the list of all employees belonging to that department. First, let's go ahead and create that function. So we want to create a function. Let's call it fn underscore get employees by department ID. So we want to pass department ID to this function. Let's call that department ID and the data type is integer. So this is going to be a table valued function. So this returns a table as return and then we'll specify our query here. So select star from employee table where department ID equals our input parameter at department ID. So let's go ahead and create this function. So we have created the function. Now let's quickly test this. Select star from the name of our function is fn underscore get employees by department ID. So for example, if we pass department ID one, this function is going to return us all the employees within that department. So notice department ID is one. All right, now what we want to do is, we want to join the department table with this table valued function. Now, to do that, can we use an inner join or a left join? If we try to do that, you know, we are going to get an error. Let's look at that quickly in action. So here on the left, we have our department table. Now what I want to do is join that with this function, the table valued function. And if you look at this function, it has got an input parameter, department ID. And I'm going to use this table name and pass D dot ID there. And the alias is still going to be E. Okay, now look at this. When I execute this query, we are going to get an error. Look at that, it says the multi-part identifier D dot ID cannot be bound. 
okay so you cannot do an inner join like this between a physical table and a table valued function so this is where we use the cross apply and outer apply operators in SQL Server now I'm simply going to replace this inner join with cross apply operator okay so the cross apply operator is going to semantically behave like an inner join whereas an outer apply operator is semantically going to behave like a left outer join so when we use cross apply we don't require any join condition because all this function requires is a department id and on the left here we have a table department and we are passing the department id so this function right here gets called for every row within the department table okay and the department ID is passed the employees are retrieved and you know the department name column is retrieved for every row from the department table and employee name gender and salary are retrieved from this function okay so we don't require this join condition so let's go ahead and execute this now we should get the same result only the matching rows between those two okay look at this when I execute this I get you know only IT payroll and HR departments where there are employees whereas administration and sales we don't have that in the result set so if you want even the non matching rows from the department table then instead of cross apply use outer apply so let's make a copy of this outer apply now when we execute this we should get the non matching rows from department table as well and notice the columns from the table valued function are null so this is semantically equivalent to um, left outer join so what is this cross apply and outer apply operators in SQL Server these operators are actually introduced in SQL Server 2005 and they are used to join a table with a table valued function the table valued function on the right hand side of the apply operator gets called for each row from the left table this left table is also usually called as out table cross apply returns only matching rows so it's semantically equivalent to an inner join whereas outer apply returns matching plus non-matching rows so this is semantically equivalent to a left outer join the unmatched columns of the table valued function will be set to nulls as we can see here in the result set so name gender and salary are coming from the table valued function and since we don't have you know any result produced for these two rows you know from the department table those columns from the table valued function will be set to null so here we have the cross apply operator example and here we have the outer apply operator example thank you for listening and have a great day